What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so, wow. 20 episodes, guys, and we're finally here in the next gym battle, and that is against uh, Rourke's dad, I can't remember his name, Byron, yes. Funny thing too, guys, 45 to 46 episodes, this is a big, big step right here, because um, in my previous Pokemon... Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. It took me about 46 episodes to get this haul through. In that time too, it took I took a break here and there. I remember getting sick at one point because uh, you know, during a state championship game for my team, it was raining like crazy. Thank you, Tom Brady. And uh, well, we like we basically did this in half the time. And believe it or not, we did it in three days. That's right, guys. We started this game on April 6th. That is uh, about three days ago to, uh, prior to today. And it is currently Easter time, April 9th. And the reason why I am doing all of this in a short amount of time, too, is because, well, yeah, we're entering the springtime and we're going to be going into the summertime. And this is where I get the, well, this is where I get the busiest. So to cut some time down from recording I am doing this I'm making sure that you know everything's ready everything's written everything is uh, edited and you, we have our whole week hopefully I won't have to touch a a walkthrough video for about a good week or so probably I don't even know maybe two weeks so anywho let's continue on right here let's go straight into the gym we're gonna be facing on some steel type gym leaders and well hey there champ to be the leader here uses steel type Pokemon Steel type Pokemon have a high defense, so you'd better hit them hard. Now, off screen, I did a few things. I did teach Gabite Earthquake because I just realized that. No, I mistaken it. It can't learn Earthquake, it learns Dig. So I taught Toothless Earthquake, and I did teach Togepri Flamethrower instead of Flame Blast. Don't worry, guys, we can always buy Flame Blast. I'm just taking advantage of the Flamethrower and everything since it's a big special attacker. So, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now, this place right here is a very, very good place to train your Pokemon because their Steel-type Pokemon will either be Steel and Ground, Steel and whatever, and if they're Steel and Ground, you're obviously going to be facing, you, you obviously need some Water-type Pokemon. So, the best way to go about this is just use Fire-type Pokemon. They always work. And look at that. Toothless grows to level 39. Yes, that is the next Pokemon we want to get up to, you know, its final evolution. And as you guys can see, we have to go through these panels in order to to progress in this gym. And as you guys can see, this doesn't lead anywhere except just battling this one guy. Togepri is a special attacker. A tank when it comes to special attack. And right now, I am taking advantage of the whole thing. Kicking butt, taking names. This is the reason why I chose Togepri. I know there were a lot of you guys complaining about the whole, why didn't you use Staraptor? Well, there it is, guys. Special attacks. And, uh, well, let's go right here. And let's go ahead and give another Pokemon another, well, some love right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and speed through this whole thing. As you guys can see, this guy has a Scizor. And, well, we're going to go with Swords Dance. And that right there is going to mess us up a little, but guess what? We bulk up our attack, and, well, that's what happens. Scizor, you know, it's not as fast as its previous evolution. It just it gives us speed for strength, and, uh, well, let's see. Let's go right here, and that is going to lead us nowhere, so right here, and actually, hold on. Let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here, too, because, yeah, you may never know. Now, Steel Tamp and... Steel type, fighting type, ground type, uh, rock type, it doesn't really matter. They're usually the easiest Pokemon to face because, well, I mean, I don't know. It's just, for some reason, they are the easiest Pokemon to just face in any game right here. So, yeah, if you if you know how to play your cards right, then they will be easy to, to just face. So, let's go right ahead and go into this part. And here we are going to be taking on some Karate Guy. And this guy is going to be coming out with a Steelix. And Steelix, as you already know, has high defenses. And, well, he's going to be coming out with another one. So let's go straight to Poseidon. And as you, you guys already know, it is a Steel-type Pokemon. But Water-types do work against these guys. Well, against, uh, you know, Steelix or Ground-type Pokemon. And, well, here we are. Moving our way through. And there we go. We got one more trainer right here. 
And she is going to be coming out with a Bronzor now. Bronzor is a different uh, story right here because it is a psychic type Pokemon. Best way to go about it is going with a fire type Pokemon. And, well, as you guys can already tell, Togepi is our lone, well, our lone fire type attacker. And I think this is like our only. I think this is going to be our only walkthrough where we're only going to be. We're not going to be using a fire type Pokemon ever. So that right there is kind of scary. And, well, look at this, guys. We have reached Byron. And, well, it's never too. It's never a bad idea to. What was it called? Uh, to heal up our Pokemon right here. So let's go with this guy right here, Togepi. And. Well, let's go right ahead and see what Byron is going to dish out with me because I always like to stay prepared. Yes, I do have a Pokemon handbook right in front of me just in case this uh, this ever uh, happens right here. So let's see. Uh, we're looking at the... Okay, so we're out of Iron Island and... Okay, so it should be before. So Byron is going to be coming out with some pretty cool Pokemon. Let's go right ahead and go with Togepi because, well, yes. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and talk to this guy. He's like, ah, that's Orberg uh, Gym Badge. See, I see, you defeated my son. But no surprise, he still has much to learn. In place of my son, Rourke, I, Byron, will take your challenge. Okay, guys, so here we are, Gym Battle number six. 20 episodes, guys, gym battle number six, and we're taking on Leader Byron. He will be coming out with a Magneton. This Pokemon right here is very, very notorious to try and paralyze you and all that. So best, the best way to go about this Pokemon is to get a Fire-type Pokemon, because any kind of ground attacks won't hit Magneton since it does have Levitate. As you guys can see, Magneton has been defeated. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, look at that. Okay, Toothless still growing, and here comes a Bastiodon. As you guys already know, this is a fossilized Pokemon. We're going to be going with Poseidon right here. Bastiodon at level 41 is a rock and steel type Pokemon. It still has that weakness for water type Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and take care of that with the Surf Attack. See? Easy. Easy stuff, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. And Bastiodon survives, so he's going to be healing up. And here comes a Metal Burst. That takes me out. Holy buckets. Okay. Let's go with this guy. And as many of you guys already know, let's go with Grass Whistle. Let's put him to sleep. And go with the Giga Drain. And Magical Leaf. Good gravy. All right. Let, you know what? Put him to sleep. And, well, let's go straight to... Let's go revive our Pokemon. Let's see. What the hell? Okay. So let's go with this one right here. Wait, what the heck? Okay, so there we go. We got a max revive. Let's go right ahead and revive Poseidon. That was right there. Well, that was uncalled for, so... Crap baskets. Not that. God dang it. Okay, let's go right here. And you know what? Let's go with Toothless. Screw it. Toothless. Toothless has Earthquake Attack right here, so this one will do it uh, just nice. Quad damage, just because it's Rocket Steel, and... There we go. Look at this. Look at this. Asleep, and it faints. That's right. Okay, so Toothless right there takes a little bit of points, and it gets to level 40. So say hello to our second strongest Pokemon, and his learning dig. Yeah, not going to do that, because we already have Earthquake. And, well, here comes a Steelix. Let's go right ahead and go back to Poseidon, just for this little thing. Alrighty. Bring it on. And here comes Steelix. Steelix, of course, is both a steel and ground type Pokemon. It is weak against water type Pokemon, so just be aware of that too. Let's go straight for a surf attack. And here it comes. There it goes. Look at this. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Look at that. Steelix defeated. Okay, so uh, <laughs> we did our thing. And there it is, guys. We have earned our next badge. Our sixth badge in 20 episodes. Holy buckets. You were strong enough to take down my prized Pokemon. In recognition of that power, this is the Mind Badge. Throwing out that peace sign, guys. Throwing out that peace sign. Holy crud. So, the Mind Badge enables you to use a hidden move strength anytime outside of battle. And now that you have six badges, that means all Pokemon up to level 70 will obey you without question. Here, take this too. And we get ourselves the TM91, which 
is Flash Cannon, which is a pretty darn good move for Steel-type Pokémon, and he's like, well, <laughs> the Sinnoh region is vast. Tough trainers like you and Barry crop up constantly to challenge the old guard. With more young trainers like my son and you, uh, you two taking charge, the future of the Pokémon is bright, but I'm not stepping aside just yet. I really need to reiterate, rededicate myself to training on Iron Island. Now, I don't know why you put in, uh, I don't know why you put in Barry in that sentence, but I'm just gonna ignore that. Anywho, we are done. We are done with this, uh, with this, uh, this gym right here, guys. Six badges, holy buckets. And, well, let's see, before we do anything, let's go ahead and take a look at that, uh, that badge case. Yes, we're gonna be shining them some, some bitches up right here. And, look at that. That's right, we're all gonna be shiny right here, look at this. Shine, shine my pretty. Six badges in two, or in 20 episodes, guys. Can you believe that? Six badges. In three days. That is dedication right there for you guys, and that means, well, at least you guys are gonna get walkthrough videos every single day, for sure. And, well, I'm not too worried about my views, but I'm, I'm hoping that you guys enjoy these walkthrough videos right here. So there it is, guys. Six shiny badges. And as many of you guys already know, we got some business to take care of right here. So after defeating the uh, sixth gym leader, Barry's gonna be like, "Hey, that's the mind badge. Good going. You're going to uh, you're going uh, you're tough enough to consider becoming the Pokemon champ. Of course, I'm tougher, so it's not gonna be actually happen." I'm flipping you off, Barry. I hate you. Anyway, Draven, come with me to the library. And well, we gotta go to the library because there is something a foot. There's a big old foot. So there it is, Barry's. Loser ass, so let's go right ahead and just go in there, speed it up because, well, Barry, you know, being impatient as always, gotta go to the third floor, and Barry's gonna be like, hey, Draven, over here, this way. Okay, so here is Professor Owen and our girlfriend Don, and he's gonna be like, okay, Gramps, I brought Draven like I said. All right, I gotta be out of here. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, I get it. Hmm, everyone here finally. Draven, everyone listen. You may have forgotten already, but I study the evolution of Pokemon. But the more I study, the more mysteries appear to multiply. Pokemon that evolve and choose that don't? What makes them different from each other? Do those that are immature or as living beings evolve uh, to ones that are mature? Well, you guys, you're talking to the king of immaturity right there, right next to me. Clonkett himself. If so, what do we make of the legendary Pokemon that we don't evolve? Are we, are we to assume that legendary Pokemon are complete as creatures? This is where you co three come in. In the three legs of Sinnoh, there are the, the Mirage Pokemon. If we can obtain data on them, it may shed some light on how the process of Pokemon evolution works. I need help from uh, each one of you on the grand undertaking. Help me find these Pokemon that are considered to, to be Mirages. Hmm, what are you saying? I didn't get a Pokedex. And who had... And and who was it that bolted from the lab before I, I, I had a chance to give you, give you a Pokedex? But that's water under the bridge. No, actually, just like literally talk crap on him. I hate this kid, really. Seeing Pokemon with your own eyes is important to, for you and becoming a better trainer, too. You can count on me. I will help fill my Pokedex, too. Driven, you'll go, too, won't you? Of course. Hmm. I would have made it all you, or I would have made all of you go regardless. Anyway. Now, there are three legs, fortuitously, uh, I can't even pronounce that word, fortuitously, I can't even pronounce it, guys, I'm sorry, immature, you're literate and all that stuff, there are three of you, you should, uh, therefore, sp split and investigate the legs individually. Don, you go to Lake Variety, will do. Barry, I want you to go to Lake Acuity, that would take you almost to Snowpoint City, the road there is harsh, I need a tough trader to go. Uh, yeah, of course, Gramps. You know how I call it, how to call it. You can tell I, I'm the hotness, and you know what? I was going to catch a legendary Pokemon for you. You know, as a thanks for giving us our Pokemon back in Route 201, even though I forgot completely about, about it until just now. Very well. I'm counting on you. And that leaves Draven. Go to Lake Valor, the lake between Veilstone and Festoria, if memory serves, and BAM! Okay, so, uh, has it stopped? Are you unharmed? What was that all about? No, wait, I mean, TV, the, the TV news, anything! And, as you guys can see, there has been an explosion. Okay, alrighty, so... 
What is going on? What you just witnessed is an actual footage from the scene. It was taken by the camera, uh, cameraman who happened to be there. It's certainly impressive. Who knows uh, what the explosion could have exposed in the lake? Gramps, they said it was an explosion. Hmm, but why at Lake Valor? Let's get outside, I'm concerned about the town. You kids, uh, you, you kids be careful going down to downstairs. Huh, it must have been a very, very big explosion. Draven, you should leave too. <laughs> there may be aftershocks, however, be alert as always. Okay, so let's see what this is all about. I kind of want to know. I kind of have a feeling that, you know, it might, it might have something to do with the legendary Pokemon. I'm just saying. And everybody's outside, and uh, Rowan's like, that trimmer. That wasn't a uh, natural occurrence. And the sailor's going to be like, hey, hey, old dude and kids, did you hear? They're saying there was a huge explosion at Lake Valor. But I hear everything's fine now. I guess it was just a lot of noise. Hmm. Gramps, I'm going. I have a bad feeling about this. Hmm, okay, so that Barry can't sit still. Draven, I don't like the dem uh, to demand, uh, but I need you to go to Lake Valor. It, it's, imp well, it's impossible for things to be okay, not after an explosion like that. But I have no idea what is taking place. But before you go, let me stress, don't get over your head. We will try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Variety. Uh, Draven, you'll be okay no matter what, right? Yeah, don't worry about it, baby. Don't worry about it. Anywho, before we do anything, guys, before we finish off this episode, there is one little thing we need to do. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so we're back in Iron Island, and we forgot to get the egg from Riley. So here it is. He's going to be giving us a Pokemon egg, and yes, we're going to be getting that Pokemon egg. Now, if you guys are wondering what is inside that Pokemon egg, well... I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of feeling bad that you know I, I won't be able to use it but in this Pokemon egg you will be seeing a nice Lucario or a uh, what was it what was the pre evolved form of Lucario uh, do, 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 uh, I don't even remember but yes the pre evolved form of Lucario is gonna be in this egg and well here we are back in Canalave so let's see Let's go right ahead and take a look at this uh, Riolu. That's what its name is. Good gravy. Okay, so here it is, Riolu. So what's gonna happen right now, guys, is we're gonna we're gonna walk a little bit fast, and we're gonna try and uh, yeah, we're gonna try and uh, yeah, get this Pokemon to hatch real quick. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so off screen while I was doing this, I found an item right here, and all you need to do is surf right next to the boats in Candlelave City, and you'll be finding yourself the TM89, which is U-turn, a very good move. Again, I'll be right back with you guys when, you know, somebody wakes up. Alrighty, after god dang how many how many steps. Here it is, guys, the hatching of this egg, and here we get ourselves our very own Riolu. A very rare Pokemon in Sinnoh, very popular. And the the messed up part about this whole thing, guys, is that yes, if we would if we didn't have a fighting type Pokemon or a steel type Pokemon for that bit. We probably would have been using this Pokemon because this guy right here is a absolute beast when it comes to battling. So, say hello to Goku. And, well, let's go right ahead and take a look at a new friend, Goku. As you guys can see, it is just a pure fighting type Pokemon right now. But, I believe at level 30, level 20, 30, in the sunlight, you will be able to evolve this Pokemon into Lucario, which will be a steel and fighting type Pokemon eventually. This guy will be just, it's just going to be a freaking dog when it comes to battling. So, anywho guys, this has been it. Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being uh, supportive as always, patient and whatnot. In the next episode, we will be taking uh, a gander at Lake Valor, you know, like Variety and all that stuff. I mean, Team Galactic is up to no good, so you guys already know the episodes are going to be good. Anywho, if you guys want to support this channel, I got a merch store right down there. Go right ahead, take a look. If you guys have any suggestions for any more uh, any more merch, I will write it down, and then from there you'll probably see it. Thank you guys again for being supportive. I will see you guys in the next episode in Pokemon Platinum. See you guys.